Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today's, uh, or this week's video is gonna be an awesome one because I'm gonna be covering a really popular subject, which is around the Windows update subject. So a lot of OEMs who start off with the product, um, you know, they, they're looking for the LTSC product. So they understand that the long-term service channel gets 10 years of support and it doesn't get any new features, but it does still get security updates. And for some OEMs, they actually really want to just block all the updates and manage the updates offline. So download an offline update, um, test it out on a machine, and then maybe push out those updates manually to their devices rather than using Microsoft's Windows Update Server via the internet. So I'm going to show you guys three very important websites today. All three links I'll put down in the description so that you can visit these websites. But um, in the first one, the first one that we're talking with here is our Aero Microsoft website. And on this website, under resources, blogs, I have a blog specifically on Windows Update and sort of best practices. And so it's a short blog, it's here. So if you scroll down to this section, it's called to update, that is the question. And if you go in and look at my blog here, um, I wrote this blog back in 2018. So this was around the time LTSC 2019 was launching, but it, it also applies to the older, you know, 2016, 2015 versions. Um, and all uh, everything you hear today will apply to the new 2021 version that comes out soon as well. But if you go through here, I talk about the two different kinds of updates, feature updates, quality updates. LTSC 2019 does not receive any new feature updates. That would force a new build. You're locked into build 1809. Um, but it does receive quality updates. So it's some OEMs will contact me back and they'll say, wait, I thought you said this doesn't get any updates. And it's no, it does. It gets security updates. It gets hot fixes. It gets uh, updates that make the product more reliable, more secure. And uh, for many OEMs, that's what they want. So they will connect their device to the internet, leave it where it does get updates and it will always get the security, the quality updates. Uh, but if you don't want any updates, you can also use this blog for the steps that I have documented here, which I'm not gonna go through, um, view the blog. Also a few extra tips at the bottom. Um, this will help you completely disable updates if you don't want anything. But for those that do, um, there's there's uh, uh, two other websites that are really important. So let's, let's talk about the next one. Microsoft Update Catalog. So this is not a very well-known website, but if you just search for Microsoft Update Catalog, you'll find it. I'll put the link again in the description. And this is where you can go to download updates for Microsoft products. Um, and in this case, you can get cumulative updates for the LTSC 2019 based on build 1809. Um, and a cumulative update means everything's been rolled in and it, you all, if you download the latest one, you'll always get everything. Um, and, but there might be cases where you don't want to go to the latest one. You might want to try, you know, one a couple months older or work your way up to the, to the newest one just to make sure everything works. But if you just want to get the latest one, you just download it and you get all the updates. Um, the trick with this website, however, as you can see, is there's really no menu here. There's an FAQ, a help, and a few links to some news groups and stuff. So you really have to know what you're searching on. And the problem is if you come in here and search for Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, LTS, LTSC 2019, you will not find anything. Those results will be empty. And even if you back it off and just do LTSC um, or get rid of that and just do enterprise. Um, and then even if you go back to Windows 10 IoT, you'll get something, but you'll just get the IoT core product. The reason for that is this site is using updates for all the different channels of Microsoft products. And IoT is an actual name of a channel with the exception of IoT Core, because IoT Core is only available in the IoT channel, where LTSC 2019 is available in other channels. So the naming is a little weird. So what you really want to search for, cumulative and Windows 10 LTS B is in branch instead of S as in service. Um, and you're going to want to use the build version, not the actual name 2019, but build 1809. So for some reason, they never updated the name from branch to service in this catalog. 
So this is the magical trick. If I search on that, you will see all the cumulative updates for Windows 10 LTSB build 1809. You'll see the ARM version, the 64-bit version, the 32-bit version, and you'll see by date. So here's January, February, March, April. And you'll see that the latest one that most people would use is this one right here. Now, the other way you can do this is by knowing the KB, the knowledge base number. In this case, the latest one is clearly KB500-1384. So the other magical website that isn't that well known or pretty difficult to locate is this one. So again, you're gonna to wanna to bookmark this. But this is the history website that tells you every single update history and what is in that update on this website. And this, was, this particular site here is for Windows 10 and server 1809 versions. Um, and if I come down the left, you're going to see April 22nd, KB500-1384 is still in preview. But that's the latest one. The one right before it, a couple weeks back, is not in preview, and it is current, 1342. But if I click on one of these, it's going to give you the date, the actual OS build version that it updates to. Because we know it's build 1809, but you know the act actually uh, longer version is right there. Um, and then it's going to tell you everything that got fixed in that build, everything that was addressed with it. So it's not just security patches. It's actually other little things that get addressed and fixed in that update. That's part of 10 years of support is fixing the little things that uh, might need adjusted, um, which is another reason that you still should probably test these out. So the other way is if you, you know, again, if you bookmark this site and you just came here first, then you would have known that, um, you know, 1384 is the most current one. And you could actually come back over here and you could then just search on KB 500-1384. And there it is. Cumulative update, Windows 10, LTSB, also for server 2019, right? So there's two ways to get to those updates. Both ways aren't, aren't very clear. So I wanted to make this video for you guys. Um, Again, links in description. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Try to get my subscribers up a little bit higher. Um, also hit the notification. That way uh, you'll get each week's new video. I'm trying to do one or two videos a week. This is the week. Uh, this is the video for this week. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching.